Hi Year 5, hope you're all well. Welcome to Wednesday's spelling and handwriting video. Today we're going to continue looking at the rule that we've already focused on this week and think about a few more strategies that we could use to practice our spellings too. Okay, before we get started, please make sure you've got yourself a pencil and a piece of paper ready for our learning today. Let's go and have a look at the Spelling Shed leaderboard. Here are the class leaderboards. Congratulations to Addy, Alfie and Lily in 5T, Jacob, AJ and Ben in 5E, George, Katie, Bowen, and Kaylee in 5P, and Bryn, Amelia and Ella in 5W. You are the top three in each of your classes. Well done to all of you. I'm awarding you each dojo point for aspiration. Keep up the hard work. So before we get started in year five, let's recap our rule for this week. So our rule this week is looking at the silent letters at the start of each word that we're investigating for our learning objective. So the silent letters that we're looking at this week are K and W. So a K becomes a silent letter if it comes before the letter N in a word. And the K is at the start. So like night, knuckle, knowledge and knife. This means we can't hear the letter K when we say the words. They all sound like they start with an N. With the W, the W becomes a silent letter if it comes before the letter R at the start of a word. So for example, writer, wreckage, wrestler, wrinkle and wreath. This means we can't hear the W when we say the word. They all sound like they start with R. So here are your spellings. I'm going to let you pause the video for a moment and copy these down if you haven't already. If not, just take another look at them, read them through to yourself. See if you can find any syllables in each word and I'll join you back here in a minute. Okay, so our little task that I've got for you this morning is, can you read the sentences through on the board? There are four different sentences and can you find the missing spelling word that goes in each of the blanks? So, the something was on his way to slay a dragon. Hmm, what word from our spelling words would go in that gap? Pause the video now, Year 5, but remember to join me back here afterwards for the answers. OK, how did you get on? Shall we go through and check our answers together? Fantastic. So, for the first sentence, what did you put in the blank? That's right. The knight was on his way to slay a dragon. Fantastic. Well done. What about for the second sentence? If I didn't have any blank of how to use a compass, then we would be lost. Hmm. Now, if we didn't have any wreckage of how to use... No, that doesn't make sense. If I didn't have any wrestler of how to use a... That doesn't make sense. Oh, year five, I need your help. What did you put? That's right. If I didn't have any knowledge of how to use a compass, then we would be lost. Fantastic. Well done. What about for the third sentence? They cleared the something from the racetrack. Hmm, a racetrack? What might happen on there if they're clearing something away? That's right, the wreckage. They cleared the wreckage from the racetrack. I do hope whoever was in the wreckage was okay though. And the fourth sentence. When I, when I fell over, I grazed my something on the ground. Hmm, wouldn't it be writer, wrestler, wreath, that wouldn't work. Wrinkle, did I graze my wrinkles on the ground? Don't think so. I think it's knuckle. What do you think, Year 5? Let's read together. When I fell over, I grazed my knuckle on the ground. Yes, that makes sense. Fantastic. How did you get on? Well done. That's brilliant work. For today's spelling strategy, we're going to practice our spellings using rainbow writing. In a moment, I'm going to show you how to do this at home or in school. But first of all, as you may notice, on the screen, there is an extra spicy chilli. The extra spicy chilli says, true or false, the word wrong follows our spelling rule. Investigate that for me. Does the word wrong follow our spelling rule for this week? Hmm, I wonder if it's true or false. OK, let's have a look at how we can practice our spellings together using the spelling strategy, rainbow writing. For that, you're going to need some different coloured pens or pencils at home and a piece of plain paper. And what I'd like to do is for each of your spelling words, I'd like you to practice them using rainbow writing. So that looks a little bit like this. I'm going to do the word night. So we're going to write out the word night. Nice and neatly thinking about our handwriting. And then I'm going to write over it again using a different colour pen this time. Like so. And then finally in one last colour. Just like that. 
Now alternatively, rather than going over the top like this, you could do it so as you write each individual letter in a different colour pen or pencil. Which I know some of you like to do that at school, you prefer to do it so as it's all in different colours, so as it looks something like that. So why don't give it a go yourself? Have a go at rainbow writing your spelling words. Now that we've finished with our spelling part of this video for today, we're going to have a look now at our handwriting warm-ups. So there are two again for today. Come and join me while I show you how you can have a go at these either at school in the bubble or at home. Okay, so there are two handwriting warm-ups I'm going to show you today that you can either do at home or at school in one of the bubbles. Now, the first one, you're going to need a ball. So I haven't got any small balls at home um, that are foam or anything like that or a bouncy ball, um, but I do have some kitchen foil. So I've rolled that up into a ball that you can hold with two of your fingers and your thumb, so no bigger than this really if possible. It'll be a bit trickier if it is. And what you need to do is using the ball that you've got, you need to roll it along the length of your arm. So start by rolling it towards you, using your two fingers, it hasn't got to be fast. Okay, keep the speed consistent and then have a go at rolling it back away from you, trying not to drop the ball. If you really want a challenge, rolling up your leg is a very tricky challenge, um, or at the side of your torso, so your body, and um, that helps us to, with our movement and keeping control of things. So that help, will help us with our handwriting. It helps to strengthen the muscle in our fingers too. So do that ideally with your hand that you write with. So I do that with my right hand on my left arm because I write with my right hand. Okay, so if you're second one today, all you're going to need is a pen or pencil. Um, and you're going to need to hold this in your writing hands, the hand that you write with. So mine's in my right hand, not in my left. And all you're going to do is walk your fingers up the length of the pencil, making sure not to drop it. So we're going to start at the bottom. And we're going to use the three fingers that we use to hold our pencil. We're going to walk our fingers up to the top. Okay, and then you can flip it over and make your way back up to the top from the bottom again, like you've already done. Repeat that five times, okay? So that will help to strengthen any muscles in our fingers and in our hand, ready for our handwriting. Why not give them a go at home? Year five, I need your help. I had a go at our warm-ups for our handwriting, but, well, it's just not gone very well. I wonder if you could have a look at my handwriting that's on the screen now and suggest what I could do to improve it. Have I thought about my ascenders and my descenders? Have I made sure all my joins are correct? Pause the video now, have a go at what you think I could do to improve my handwriting and join back here afterwards to go through what improvements could be made. Welcome back. Let's have a look at the mistakes I made in my handwriting. As you can see, my I, G and H didn't quite sit on the line. My G was an ascender, not a descender. My F should be an ascender and a descender, and I forgot the joins in writer. Well done if you spotted all my mistakes. I knew I could rely on your super handwriting knowledge to help me. The two letters we're focusing on today are H and M from our one-armed robot letters. Now H is an ascender and M sits between the two blue lines. They're slightly different when we're practicing today about how tall some of them are going to be and how short they're going to be as well. So come and join me while I take you through our handwriting for today. So as you can see, I've got my handwriting from Monday and Tuesday, so I'm going to continue today. We are focusing, as I've already mentioned, on H and M. So I'm going to start off my H, that's an ascender. So I start at the top of the red line, I come down to the bottom of the blue line, back up. And over, oh, my pen out of ink there. Fantastic. Let's do that again. Top of the red line, down to the bottom of the blue line, back up to the top of the blue. As you hit the blue, curve over and down. Fantastic. And once more, from the top of the red, down to the bottom of the blue, back up to the top of the blue, curl when you get there, and over. Can you have a go at doing your H's yourself? Okay. Let's have a look at the letter M next. So the M is just like the N, very similar. It sits between the two blue lines. So, so unlike the N though, it doesn't go all the way down the second arch. So I'm going to start at the top of the blue line, go down, back up, curve, and we can hit that blue line. And we come down a partial way, about halfway down. Then we go back up and over like so. Let's try that again. Back up, just like that, and once more, there we are. Can you have a go at your ends? Okay, so we're going to put these two letters now into um, a spelling word. Um, I haven't got one with M in though in our spelling word next this week, so I'm going to do a different 
word related to our topic for that one. So for H, we're going to have a go at the word wretched. So we're going to start with our W. It's got an R in there as well, so it's a bit of our practice from earlier on in the week. So W, R, into our E, now into our T, our teenager T, not going to cross it yet, go into our C, and then into our H, the letter we've practiced today, all the way up. That's it, fantastic. Don't take your pen off the paper, keep going. Into our E, and then into our D, which is also an ascender. Fantastic. Now cross your T on the blue line. Can you have a go at spelling the word wretched, thinking about your joined up handwriting? Okay, and the, the word we're going to practice with the letter M in it is comet. So a comet is something you find in space. So we're going to have a go at this. So our C, it's between the two blue lines, into our O, and now into our M. Now into an E, and into our T, and into T. And cross it. Fantastic. Can you have a go at the word comet? Here are some examples of work that have been sent to the Year 5 email address. Cohen, I'm so impressed with your definitions of your spelling words. Esther, your handwriting is so neat joined up. Lucy, again, I'm really impressed that you managed to link the definitions to the words. And Elliot, I can see you've been working so hard on your joins. Well done to all of you. I'm awarding you each a dojo point for aspiration. Don't forget to log on to Spelling Shed and to practice your spellings this week. I've set it as an assignment for you, so you've got to complete it 10 times before you can move on to the next list. That's also going to generate a leaderboard, so I wonder who is going to be at the top of that. And one final reminder that our spelling test is on Friday the 29th of January. And so that brings in today's lesson year five. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to log on to Spelling Shed and practice your spellings. I wonder if the leaderboard will change much for tomorrow. As always, if you've got any examples of your work that you'd like to send in, please make sure you send them to our Year 5 email address, as I'd love to see what you've been getting up to, and perhaps they might even feature in one of our videos. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye!